trapped in a garbage can in the cold and left for dead is given a second chance tonight. 23 ABC's Faven K shows us how volunteers came together to make a difference. That's right, Jackie, that female pup abandoned in a Delano gar uh, garbage can less than a week ago. I spoke with one local volunteer who says that Ivy is very lucky to be alive. Now, we must warn you that the video you are about to see is very graphic. Heartbreaking video of a puppy that Delano animal control officers found stuffed in a garbage can last Thursday. I don't know how anyone could do that. Lauren Thomas was there the day officers rushed poor Ivy to the local vet. Shivering and suffering from a skull and nasal fracture, needing stitches after her eyeball popped out of its socket, she cries out in pain. A normal temperature is between 100 and 102, I think, right around there, and hers was 92 degrees. She was freezing. Thomas posted this gut-wrenching video to her Facebook page, hoping someone would speak up and explain how this could happen. My knee-jerk reaction to the anger of someone throwing her away. It's been viewed over 200,000 times, shared by over 4,000 people, and has sparked outrage across social media. Lots of people are very angry, uh, very caring people, praying for her, sending out good vibes. While it is unknown exactly what or who caused her injuries, what we do know is that she was left in a trash can to die. But with the help of volunteers like Lauren, Ivy is making a remarkable recovery. Tomorrow, she heads up to the Pound Puppy Rescue in Northern California where she will stay until she is adopted. Thomas wants to remind animal owners that if they are dealing with a hurt or ill pet, throwing them away is not the answer. Personally, I don't think that you should have to tell somebody throwing a live puppy in the garbage is wrong, but people need to know that there are other options. All right, guys, now I'm here with little Miss Ivy. She is definitely doing a lot better than we saw in that video. We also have Lauren, who you guys met in that story, and Kelly, who's been fostering Ivy. Now tell me, I know she got the stitches taken out of her eye yesterday. How long is her road to recovery? What can we expect? She's got a, a ways to go. She still has some swelling in, in her head and her nose area, and the eye is going to take probably a couple months if it heals at all. It may not heal completely, but it's going to take her a little while, but she's a trooper. All right, thank you so much, guys. Now, as you know, uh, treatment for animals is very costly. If you would like to help Ivy and other four-legged friends, you can go onto our website. We have information on how you can make a donation. And if you have any questions as to what you can do, if you have a dog that is injured or hurt, head on over to our website as we'll have information for, um, on that for you as well. That's the very latest here in Northwest Bakersfield. I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio.